October 6th, 1926, Babe Ruth hits three home runs to lead the Yankees to a 10-5 victory over St. Louis in Game 4 of the World Series. Ruth's final bomb of the day carried deep into the never-before-reached center field bleachers far beyond the 430-foot mark. Estimated at 530 feet, it is the longest home run in World Series history. And as if this weren't enough, this is also the game during which the Babe makes good on his alleged pre-game promise to hit a home run for the bedridden young Johnny Sylvester. October 6, 1945, William Cianus, a Chicago bar owner and his GOAT, attend Game 4 of the World Series at Wrigley. Cubs owner P.K. Wrigley ordered that the pair leave because the GOAT stuck. As they were being escorted from the park, Cianus was heard saying, The Cubs ain't gonna win no more. The Cubs will never win a World Series as long as the GOAT is not allowed in Wrigley Field. The Chicago Cubs lose to Detroit 4-1, and Detroit would go on to win the World Series, prompting Cianus to send a telegram to Wrigley that said, Who stinks now? October 6, 2003, the Boston Red Sox complete a three-game playoff comeback, beating the Oakland Athletics 4-3 in Game 5 of their American League Division Series. October 6, 1985, New York Yankees pitcher Phil Negro becomes the 18th 300-game winner as he blanks the Toronto Blue Jays 8-0 on the last day of the season. At the age of 46, Negro also becomes the oldest pitcher to throw a shutout in Major League history. He will eventually be passed by Jamie Moyer on May 7, 2010. That was October 6th, this day in baseball.